All right, I thought I would record a video over the more about the office tell or Airbnb I rented recently. It did cost a little bit of money, so it was 90 bucks a night, um, which I would say is not considered cheap in this area. Um, but just to give you a little bit of an idea what $90 a night gets you, um, you get a modern unit, first off, very small one, not necessarily so huge, so definitely not the most spacious area, but enough that I was comfortable. Yeah, I had literally a couple of teammates over here who were hanging out late, late uh, on the second or third night, but you get a nice bed, a bit of room, um, you get a nice view, literally we are looking at Terano, which is considered one of the most um, uh, well-known streets in Gangnam. And um, we're on the 10th floor. You get excellent air conditioning. I would have to say this was perfect. It was always nice whenever I came in from the very sweltering heat of um, South Korea right now. Right now it's pretty hot, so it's around 90 degrees, it feels like, on a daily basis with significant humidity. You get decent closet space. Um, so here is one of the closets that um, you get. You need to get multiple closet spaces, by the way, with extra blankets and stuff like that when the winter comes. A chair, a desk. You do have to put things like in between, underneath, whatever, in order to kind of conserve on the space. We do have a nice little refrigerator, so a decent size refridge, uh, refrigerator, sorry with the freezer on the bottom. And also, you know, uh, the, norm, the normal stuff that you typically get with most units, um, minus the fact that, um, or not minus, but you get these other things like, you know, bowls and plates and dishes that, that allow you to eat in if you need, like I did for the most part um, in the last few days. Now, did I do that every day? No, I did that probably for the last four or five days of the 10 day visit because um, it was just more convenient to eat out. They also have uh, most of the supplies stocked, including um, little capsules for the washer and dryer, which was nice. This was the, probably the best washer and dryer unit that I've actually had living in Korea. Um, the new place that I'm going to doesn't even have a washer, so I'm kind of sad. But it also costs like literally one third, maybe at least 40% of what this next place is going to be. It has a nice shower, was really, really nice. I mean, literally nice. I enjoyed cleaning myself up on a regular basis, a decent size um, bathroom in general. So that was kind of appreciated. And so yeah, that, that's the unit you get for like 90 bucks a night. I'll try to post at some point a link to the actual um, Airbnb link. So in case you want to see this, use it, um, rent it under, you know, like not under, but you know, rent it what am i trying to say mainly because i'm going to try to rent it as well maybe for the next uh 14 days if possible or something similar to it because this was incredibly comfortable